That's the volcano Air Fedliuko, which when it erupted in 2010 actually grounded all aeroplanes worldwide. This is just a clip from our recent school trip to Iceland. Oh, man. This day is a visit to Skaftafell National Park, which a lot of people don't visit when they go to Iceland because it is quite a long drive. But it was amazing, not only because Skaftafell is one of the most lush places in Iceland, so it was a bit strange to see all that vegetation there, but also because you have these glaciers coming down to kind of sea level, and that's one of the features of the Icelandic landscape. So this is a bit of a walk to Svartifoss waterfall, which has these amazing basalt columns. It's one of the most Instagrammed spots in Iceland, and it's easy to see why. I'm playing about my film camera here, and I'm using Lomography film, which actually I wasn't that impressed by. But let's talk about those basalt columns because that is a bit of physics. This is intrusive basalt, so it's igneous rock, but it's cooling inside the earth rather than actually on the earth's surface. So instead of those RRs and other kind of random lava flows, you get these very predictable, very regular patterns as the lava crystallizes. In the way the plunge pool recedes as it kind of carves out underneath the nick pool to get that undercutting and you have that kind of rising up and arcing almost like a cathedral. The reason for these hexagonal columns is about the rate of cooling. So importantly the basalt is cooling slowly but it's all cooling at the same rate. So there are forces on each crystal from all sides. So it's cracking in this regular pattern and it just happens to be a 120 degree angle. It happens to be hexagonal is the most kind of useful shape for nature to form. I had a look for some articles and I found one on IFL Science which I'll uh, link in the description. And really we don't fully understand this process yet, but computer models, when we simulate lava cooling, it does form these hexagonal shapes as well. So that's pretty impressive. Stick around because there's more Iceland vlogs, more Iceland physics to come. There's glaciation, locating earthquake, a video about solar intensity from a glacial lagoon and about global warming. Thanks a lot for watching, hit that subscribe button and catch you in the next video. Oh yeah, and talking about water pressure at Great Giza as well, that's going to be cool.